Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. All right, so this is part two of the assembly. Um, you can see she's all glued and taped together. I did do a mix of Barely Art glue and my Tombow tape because my hands are starting to hurt. So you could see that um, I don't think you can tell the difference where I used which. So look at how beautiful she is. Her eyes, the skin color, the different uh, types of cardstock that we use. And she really does look seamless, right? Um, just, I love it. So, okay, the way you make this um, stand up or propped up is I use a foam board from the Dollar Tree. So you can see right now it's just paper, it's flimsy. Um, if you were to tape it to the wall, it would be fine, but it wouldn't be able to stand up on its own. Whereas once you put on a foam board and it's a dollar from the, from the Dollar Tree, once you use the foam board, then it will stay propped up against the wall um, on the floor against something. So it becomes way, way more easier to take pictures, move it around, uh, have it at your party and stuff. So, all right, so here she is. Her hair makes her wider than this board, but that's gonna be okay. And everything else about her though, I mean, she's gonna be pretty much covered um, with this foam board because all of this right here plus all of her hair She's gonna be so stable. It's gonna be okay to not have these two pieces uh, Supported by the foam board. It will stay supported. So what I do is I always like this one is Straight across so we're not gonna cut here We're gonna use the foam board and that's gonna be the bottom and it's gonna it's gonna be what's touching the floor or the table so take a white pencil and basically trace all the way around because we're gonna be cutting inside the white lines so the white lines won't be seen. And I may have gotten it on my black outline so you might have to get an eraser afterwards or I will, um, right there. Um, okay, so down here. Okay. Then I'm gonna pull it down and let's do the rest of this. Oh man, I just right on my thing. Okay. And we're almost done. The key to this is a self-healing mat. So I always work on my self-healing mat from, this is from Cricut. I like it because it's big. Um, so yeah, like I said, the key is to have a um, self-healing mat, a blade that you like, nice and sharp. This one is from Excel Blades. I like it because it's really cushiony and it's sharp. All right, so here is my board and I'm just gonna cut inside the lines. This is super easy to do. Um, right here, I think, yeah, we'll see. Um, all right, let's start cutting. And I like to do smooth, like singular lines. I'm not gonna follow this to the T. I'm just gonna cut in like this. Cause like I said, this character is super supported. So I'm not worried about her um, being kind of like flimsy, right? So seeing you just pull this down. So it's nice and smooth, even from behind, it's gonna look good. Um, all right, so over here, I'm just gonna do a straight line. My hands are killing me these days. So I'm not gonna go do the curves and it's gonna be fine. It's gonna look fine from behind. I'll show you what that looks like um, once we glue her down <clears throat> and you'll see. Uh, so this one I'm gonna do, <laughs> I'm being really, um, uh, really lenient with my cuts here. All right. And this one, I'm, I don't even need to support this. I'm gonna do like one big oval, okay? Just so that you can see, <laughs> and because I'm lazy. Okay, so I made one gigantic cut. Do that on this side as well. A lot of times, I mean, if you're making this for an order, I would definitely do it closer to the living. But just so that you know, you don't need to from a 
um, practical standpoint, you don't need to. This will support the whole piece, even though it looks really funny, right? But I'm also making a point. So, all right, here she is, okay? So she's totally gonna be supported. This is what she looks like from behind. So you can see it doesn't look crazy if no one's looking from back here. Um, but again, if you were doing it for an order, of course, like make it look, you can go uh, closer to the edge. You saw how I was cutting. It's still very neat and, and smooth and um, smooth looking. So, all right, I'm gonna turn this back over. And basically, because she's all good, you just wanna get your glue gun and we're going to get this line down here to get it started. We're going to, I'm just gonna lift this up and put glue down so that you can see like this. I'm gonna do like an inch of glue, okay? Well, hold on. All right, here we go. Okay, so that's down. I can feel the heat coming through. I'm gonna flip it over like this so that I can lift her up and start adding glue down little by little and easing her down so that she's completely supported. And then I'm gonna have to get a glue stick in a second. So give me a second, I'm gonna go get it. Okay, so I'm gonna put in my glue stick and you can see, all right, here we go. And I'm just doing one straight line across at a time because I want to get her completely glued down and supported. So if I'm going, you know, like a straight line, then I can still pick up this and continue to add the glue. So, and you can see I'm bending it quite a bit, but it's not causing a fold in the line. This is beautiful cardstock. It can withstand the, the, the bend as long as it's not a fold, right? Okay. So just wanted to make sure I was clear there. All right, here we go. And I just absolutely love the foil, the green. I mean, everything mixes really well. I love the contrast between her sweater and her skin. I, she just looks beautiful. She's gonna photograph really, really well. All right. And we're almost done. And even now that it's not, this top part's not glued down, right? We're gonna hit that in a second, but I'm gonna show you. See, she's already propped up against me with no hands, right? And she's fine. And sh this part's not bending over, so, um, Let's add the glue there and then we'll be done. And then she will be part of my eight. My eight for the, glue, for the skin color collection. I can't wait to show you all of them side by side and you can see just the range of how it moves across the eight characters. So I hope this was helpful. This would be for anything. This foam board is great for birthday signs, party signs, graduation signs. It makes everything stable. It's cheap, it's a dollar. You can easily cut it with your X-Acto knife um, of your choice. And uh, yeah, that's all I have for you. Let me know what you think, comments, questions, things you wanna see. I'm always taking special requests. All right, talk to you guys soon. Thank you.